Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. We start here with chapstick. We're going to do four looks. I'm going to try and be as quick as possible. We're going to do two looks today, one on each eye, and then we're going to come back another day and do two more looks, one on each eye. I am so sorry. Welcome to the Crazy Troll Nation. Crazy because sometimes I forget to do my intro. Sorry. Um, the troll because there is no such thing. But also to make fun of the beauty community, the perfection aspect of it. You must use this like this. You must use this brand. You must use this tool. You have to do this and slim that, chisel this, bake that, cover up under eye discoloration bags and snatch stuff and all of that. No. This channel is self-acceptance, self-love, embracing your natural features. Love yourself for who you are for how you look, even though we like to enhance our features by playing in face paint, but not to change how we look, just to enhance if we want to. I do have my base face on now, but before I get into what we're doing, which you already know because of the title, and I do thank you for being here, I'll show you what else we do here on this channel. We're doing more looks with the Marrakesh palette. And I remember before saying we were going to do um, like some columns, some diagonal columns. But today what we're going to do is we're going to switch it up. We're going to use Argan Fruit, Oasis of Ride, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Sweet Aubergine, this shade here. And also, my nose is so big that it's showing up there in the mirror. <laughs> And also golden moss. But I will do swatches after that look. And for the second look, we're going in this diagonal. So we're going to use Hamam, Henna, and Red City. And when we come back later on in the video, which won't be today, but we'll do two more diagonal rows was is it really a row if it's diagonal? And actually it's a column because you're going down. I'm confused. This way is Diagonal, this way is a column, this way is a row. I'm all sorts of confused. So I'm gonna try and be quick. Underneath this eye, I have NYX Retractable Eyeliner. Of course, this one is in gold. Under this eye, I have brown, just to try to get that out of the way. I do have brushes laid out. Hopefully I have everything I need. I'm only gonna prime one eye at a time because this is a tacky primer and because of all of this puffiness, this part will be, stick to this part if I don't apply eyeshadow soon after <laughs> I put on the primer. Hashtag puffy eyelid problems. And so you see how my lid, you can see my lid here, but now you can't. Yeah, that's the part that sticks. So I'm going to leave my primer out so hopefully I don't forget. I'm using an angled concealer brush to blend out the primer. I never set my primer. I never even tried it. So I can't even say if I like doing that or not uh or what and i i get i was going to say what the hype is but i get that they say it makes your shadow blend easier but i generally don't have a problem with that if i'm just using shadow if i'm using like a paint pot or like when i did the nude sticks that stuff dried so fast but i don't think powder would have helped that to blend out anyway so let me move this brush over here we're going to take for the first look ouch argan fruit this shade here and we're going to use this is a Isom. T37, I was about to say V, T37, these shades y'all, and we're going to pop that right here in our inner corner. So now we're going to go into Oasis of Raid, this shade here, and that's going to go in the center of our lid. This is a Fenty 230 brush. Oh wow, look at that shade. <laughs> and this is going to go... Yeah, I said that on the sensor. I hate when I'm rushing, and I know you guys aren't rushing me, and I know I can just edit stuff out, so I, I don't know why I'm feeling anxious today. I think because I feel like, okay, these are two looks, and then I'll come back another day, do another two looks, and so in my mind, I feel like I have a lot to do, um, when really it's not a time issue, because as I said, I can edit out, and the other two looks will not even be today. But my mind is like, okay, you have this to do. You got to do this and this and that. So I think that's what it is. 
Thank you for helping me process my feelings. For being here to help me do that. And I'm going to sweep in between to blend these two together. I like how this looks right here. I like how these two go together. Next we're going to take, and I'm just going to start holding this upside down just for ease of my wrists and my fingers. Sweet Aubergine, this shade here, and that's going to go on our outer corner. We're just going to flip this brush over. Yo, these Nomad shades. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to flip back to the green side and just pull that this way to blend. Then we're going to go back to this side, pull that inward to blend. So we're just going to go back and forth, pulling both colors both ways. So this is the dark shade. This side has the center shade. Oh, my God. We're using a side with a dark shade. I did not add any other shadow on here. And we're just going to sweep that here. This could be your look if you wanted it to be. And you can drag this shade over, which I think I'm going to do just a little bit. I still did not add any more shadow onto this brush. So you can drag that over. And this can be your look. Put a shadow on your lower lash line. Do liner on your upper lash line if you want to do mascara. This can be your look and you can be done. These palettes are so easy. Okay, so now we're going to take Golden Moss, which is a shimmer. And we're going to take an Isom V33. And we're going to use that as our transition. And I don't know why I had this to use as a transition shade. Number one, because it is a shimmer. But I think maybe because even though you can see the gold color... It, it does kind of just blend into my skin tone. And maybe I just wanted to use this color again. And we're going to take this same brush, dipping back into Golden Moss. I had a different brush to do this for. And we're going to put that under here. So then we're going to take, this is a Fenty 220 brush. And we're going to take that center shade. And we're going to put that on the center of our lower lash line. You don't have to. But of course you never have to do anything. You do what you want to do. If you wanted to add more color. And we're going to take a Scott Barnes number 60 brush and we're going to go into Sweet Aubergine, that outer corner shade. Got powder in my eye. Which is okay because it's not glitter which means it won't feel chunky and it won't make my eyes tear. I like this. Oh, girl, troll it up. All right, so that look is done. And for, that, and for this look, so this look is done. We only have three shades for this one. That'll be easy. Fenty primer. And we're going to use the same brush we used earlier on the other eye to blend out the primer. I almost hit myself in the eye with this. That would not have been good. I don't know why it sounds like my throat is kind of froggy. Like it sounds, sorry for smacking. To me, it sounds like my voice is going in and out. Blending that in, blending it in and around. I like this, and I like those color combinations. Oh my gosh. All right, the first look we're going to take, we're going to go into Hamam, which is really not a shade. And we're going to take the Hourglass number three, and that's going to go on the first tab. This is going to be a really, really easy neutral look. Because again, we're using this one, this one, and this one. So we just want to go down the row column, diagonal, whatever. So this is how it looks on a brush. Tap it off. That's how it looks. And we're just going to press. So if you are my complexion, my foundation references are below. Did I say that funny? And you do set your eyeshadow base with a powder. This would work well for that because this is almost a non-color. As a lid shade, it's not really a color. Sweeping in between to blend them together. When I first get a palette, my goal is to use every shade in a palette a few times. And I do tend to do monochromatic looks because it's just easy. And then I can just do the looks, see how the shadows perform. And then once I do that, then I go back and experiment with different bases, different shadow placement, things like that. And so that's what I do just to get through it. And also to show you what you can do with the palette. Um, 
just in case you need some inspiration or to see how easy a palette is because monochromatic looks are super easy so i'm just bringing this up just a little bit right here mm, i'm gonna go back into henna a little bit because i want to put some more up here okay yeah 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 this could be your look if you wanted it to liner if you want to much hair if you want to that could be your look we're going to take, I don't know how this is going to look, but we just do stuff here. So now we're going to take red brick and that's going to be our transition shade. We're going to take <laughs> Fenty 220, 210, Fenty 210 blending brush. Ooh, so I'm going to start on the outer corner just very lightly. And I'm only going to go to here. I'm not going to take it all the way in. This is nice. That looks nice. So that's this look. And I'm going to take a different brush with no shadow on it. Just picking whatever, which happens to be a Scott Bar in 62. And I'm going to just go in circular motions and just blend this, particularly this edge right here. Or I could, you know, just take her mom, her ma'am. Someone wrote that that's how you pronounce it, like ma'am. Her ma'am, I could take that and put it here, but then it might look dusty. And this would also be a good brow, brow bone highlight, excuse me. While we still have this brush, we're going to go into henna. This is not the proper brush for lower lash line. And we're just going to sweep that underneath. I felt comfortable using this brush for this, even though this is not the typical, excuse me, brush you would use for lower lash line. But because this color is so light on me, that's the center shade. Even if it ends up further down, it's not going to look crazy. A Fenty 210. This is a 220. <laughs> and we're going to take <laughs> Red City, which is this orange shade right here. I'm just all sorts of, I don't know today. And we're also going to put this on our lower lash line. But we're keeping this one close to the lashes. Where it has an uh we took it further down. This is an Isom V33, no shadow on it. We're just going to buff underneath. That's it. Easy peasy. Just to use it. Sorry for that clank. We're going to use the Natasha Denona work set. And we're going to take an angled brush. And also, I do have a brown one in hers too. Where's that one? So we're going to do a black one. Yes, I poked myself in the eye. <laughs> We're going to hang up the, our black one for this eye and the brown one for this one. And I do have two of these brushes. <laughs> oh, somebody pray for me. Whew. I was thinking the other day I haven't been using my gel liners that often and I need to use them more because they're only good 12 to... 18 months, I think. I hear buzzing outside, so I wonder if they're cutting grass. And this is the brown, Natasha Denona work and set, same brush but a clean one. This is the one we use for the black. And we're gonna just swirl this in here. Get some shadow gel liner on the brush. This one is frayed. Can you see that? And that's why I bought this one. But after a while, this one is going to fray too. And so sometimes my liner ends up thicker. Sometimes use an error. And sometimes because of the, the brush being frayed. You hear that noise? Yeah, that sounds like a leaf blower, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. You hear that? I'm sure you can, because if when you are able to hear my air fryer, which actually is right here, because my kitchen is over here, but... And that's a low hum, so I'm pretty sure <laughs> you can hear that outside. So that is that for that look. I also... 
I'm going to put a brown on my, that is so loud, on my lower waterline over here. They might be blowing dust off the stairwell because that is way too loud to be on the ground floor. They do, you can hear your rent money um, living here as you can hear it also. This is aqua green and we're going to take this one, of course, an extra jackpot eyeliner still. My first time using this one, we're going to put it here. They have an amazing cleaning team. But sometimes I'll hear like bumping and clanging and footsteps and I'm like, what's going on out there? And I'll go look and it'll be a lady out there with like a cleaning basket or bucket, whatever you want to call it. And she'll be spraying and wiping down the handrails. And they also sweep like around your doors, like the top of the doors, like if you get cobwebs or something like that. And I'm like, that's a lot of work. The building I'm in is the 1800 building. And so that's like how many buildings is here and how many apartments and people are going like... <laughs> And I'm on the third floor too. And so to come all the way up here <laughs> to be cleaning and dusting and then people, as you hear, blowing stuff. You're too expensive to live here, but they do awesome with the upkeep. They really do. Wiping off chapstick. Not sure what we're going to do with lips yet, but I'm going to do swatches because I just realized I didn't do them. What did I say? Argan fruit. Oasis of Raid, Ride, Sweet Aubergine, and Golden Mosque. So these are the shades on this eye. Hamim, Henna, Red City. So if you're a, a neutral person, this right here would be really easy. It's still got a little bit of color because of red brick, which to me looks orange, but that's the easy combination. So this is the first look on this eye. This is the second look. <laughs> I'm so awkward on that eye. <laughs> so what are we going to do for lips? Keep it really simple. Nars Laguna. I do have other stuff I want to use though, but we're going to keep it simple. He's still out there blowing. Yo, they be working. So this is our looks, two more looks, looks number four and five. And so that'll be it. Let me do this. This is this look. This is this look. I didn't even have my eye covered right. Anyway, thank you for tolerating my shenanigans and thank you for being here. Let me know if you have Marrakesh palette, what you think of it, do you like it? And you'll see me in a few minutes. I'm going to edit out putting this on my lower lash line under both eyes. And this is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Brown. We're going to prime our eyes with the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. And we're going to blend that out with an angled concealer brush. I'm going to edit this part out. I only primed the one eye because we're doing look number six, look number seven. And... Each one is going to be three shadows, so it'll be really easy. Look number six, we're going in a diagonal. We're going to use Golden Mask, The Souks, I'm sure I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, and Spice Market. So that's what we're going to do. And I think I'm just going to breeze through it. First half of the lid, second half of the lid, transition, and this will probably also go underneath the lower lash line. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take an Hourglass number three brush, Golden mask in a portion of the lid. I'm going to edit the rest of this out just for speed because I think the other video, well, the first portion of the of this video was about 20 minutes, and I don't want this to be another 20 minutes. So I'm going to edit the rest of this out. We're going to flip this brush all over. Excuse me, go into the suits that bottom shade with well, the shade on the bottom row. Oh, look how vibrant! Oh, that's vibrant. It looks a little darker down here. So when I looked up, it was like, oh, that's bright. This is like, almost like a pastel shade on me anyway. I didn't expect this. And I have used this shade before. I have used every shade in this palette, I think, by my third video. I'm going back and forth to blend those two shades together. That Look how that blends so easily. This palette is so easy. That is done. 
We're going to take an Esom V33 and we're going to go into Spice Market. And that's going to go up here in our transition area. Easy peasy, just going in a diagonal. This is a really no fuss palette. I'm going to take some more of that inner corner shade because I liked how it looked before I took Spice Market there. So we're just going to put that back right here and keep the eye open. Yeah. And we're also going to use that same brush for Spice Market under our lower lash line. Easy peasy, this look is done. Just to show you how easy this look is. Yes, I like me with bold colors, dark colors, grungy colors, smoky colors. I'm showing you that this can be an everyday palette. Liner, mascara, you're done. I'm going to prime the other eye. And we're going to blend it out with the same brush. I'm going to edit this part out. For look number seven, we're going to do this diagonal here. So Desert Sands on the inner portion of the lid. Oh gosh, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. Pomeray on the second half of the lid. And Persian Rose, I guess transition. So that's what we're doing, this diagonal right here. Hourglass number three for Desert Sands inner lid. I'm going to edit out the rest of this part. Actually, we're done. <laughs> Easy. That's done. Oh my gosh, this is great. Flipping it over, going going into Pomeray, excuse me for that stutter, stammer, whatever you want to call it. Woo! I'm sorry. I got excited. This reminds me almost, not quite, but almost like a shade from the Circle Loco palette because of how vibrant it is but i don't think it's the same shade i don't think it's the same tone and i'm trying to think of it and it's not coming to me look at that shade so we're going to blend in between sweeping the brush lightly in between both of those shades oh, look at that i'm going to flip back to the side that had that lid shade on it and we're going to pull that over Flip to the side with the green, pull that over, and just go back and forth to blend. Look at that. Oh. oh, I'm loving it. This is the side that has green, and so we're just blending. I don't know if Persian Rose is going to look nice over top of this. I'm wondering if it'll just turn it more brown. So we're just blending out this green with the tip of this brush. I know, see, I know, excuse me, I know some people use a lighter shade of a color or a complementary color to blend out a, a color previously laid down. But for me, I just blend, blend it out. I'm going back into that same shade, adding some more right here. And I've never done that. And I've seen a lot of people do it and it does work. But I'm just like, why use more colors than I have to? Well, not have to, because you don't have to do anything. So I'm just using the tip of the brush just to blend out the edge of that green. Let me know if you use a color to blend out another color. Or if you just do like I did and just, just blend out the edges of that color to, to get a blend. Let me know. We're going to put that brush down. I'm going to take <laughs> Esom V33. I'm laughing because these are all the same brushes, just clean ones because I have duplicates. And we're going to take Persian Rose. I'm hoping this is Persian Rose. This is the one we just laid. I'm hoping it just turns into a brown. So I'm going lightly just on the top edge of the blended area. Oh, okay. This palette surprises me all the time. And we are going to bring this one over to right here. I'm still going lightly because I don't want it to get muddy. And I also don't want to mess up the blend. I like it. 
same brush I put some more on here and I tapped off and that's going under here done I want to do something else <laughs> we're going to take this is the e-sum I have two of them we're going to take this is an e-sum I just said the same sentence twice we well, started it twice v31 we're going to go into golden mask this shade right here and we're going to just put this here we're going to put that down take the clean one and we're going to go into pomeray this shade here I'm thinking i should have used a smaller brush and we're going to just put that on the outer portion of our lower lash line we're going to wipe that off even though i don't need to because i have plenty of them we're going to go into desert sand our inner corner shade and we're going to put that here look it's done 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 we're going to take eyeliner i realized in the last one well the first portion of this video that i forgot to do mascara and i didn't realize it till i was editing i'm just like oh and then i thought should i Go back and do mascara and i was like nope video is done we have moved on this is fenty fly liner and because i'm black easy peasy sorry i forgot to edit that out and i'm not because i was talking which i still could but we're going to take that same brown did i put it away next retractable eyeliner and we're going to put that on our lower waterline on both eyes <gasps> wait a minute wait a minute we want to take this shade we used this in the previous look this is aqua green and we're going to put that over here i'm realizing i well, not realizing, but I think I might want to get like a reddish tone for like this shade up here or a pink. But I don't think a pink will show up and I think it might make me look like I got a pink eye. So that's there. For mascara, we're going to use Miss Merlot Fenty Four Frontal on this eye and Ivy League, which is green on this eye. I'm going to edit the rest of this out. Colored mascara work, works best, excuse me, when you have on a light eyeshadow look. Because if you're doing a smoky eye and you put on a colored mascara, you're not going to see it because you have such a dark color on your lid. Unless somebody is like very detail oriented and they're really like in your face and looking. Sorry for not editing this part out. And for lips today, oh, I got to do swatches. I want to do a brown lip today just because I haven't done one in a long time. And I don't know if it's going to look right or not. I'm not going to do it. We're going to take Fenty Hot Chocolate. And I'm thinking about when I did the purple lip with this eye look, or this uh, eye look that was similar to this one, excuse me. And there were quite a few comments like, oh, that lip color set it off. And so I'm like, mm hmm, you know what I'm going to do? We're not going to use the gloss bomb. We're going to use Item Beauty. This came in BoxyCharm because it's really like not a color. So just to use it, and I keep forgetting that I have it. Yeah, so this will not do anything for either look, but it'll go with both looks because it's just a shimmer. <laughs> All right, so I was going to do something. What was I going to do? Swatches. <laughs> I knew it was something. I was going to, excuse me. I'm so excited. I was getting ready to move on to the information I have to tell you. <laughs> so what are the shades? I am so unprepared. I didn't even roll up my sleeve and I got shadow on my fingers. Golden Moss. The Seuss Spice Market. 
And you see how I'm just going really light. I'm not doing swatches like when they like press and you see all their skin moving. You see I'm just like lightly swiping because that's how easy these shadows are. And you do see the color. It's not like, um, it didn't really show up. Hey, they showing up. Desert Sands, Pomeray, Golden Market. See that? How easy that is? And it's still some on my fingers. So those are swatches for these two looks. The fun part, I can smell that lip gloss. It's not a bothersome smell. I'm just not used to smelling my lips. On to the fun part. <laughs> this is what it will come in, which is the package they sent it to me in. And I'm going to put a label over top of the label with my information on it. I wrapped it back in the paper it came in, and yes, it is open because, number one, I did show you what it was twice. I'm not going to open it again, but also because I had purchased for myself another palette, and so that's why I opened it, and also to make sure that this one was intact. But this is the Marrakesh palette. This is the one that one of you will win. You've seen what it looks like. These are looks number six and seven. So what I want you to do is, and I will write this down below, you must be subscribed prior to this video being uploaded to be eligible, which you are. And you must like this video. And I want you to go back through my Marrakesh looks and your eligibility comment will be which look you liked the most and why. So the first look was just one. I did the same look on both eyes. And then I did look number two and number three. Did I do that like that? I believe so. Yeah, I did. And then I did look number four and number five, which is the beginning of this video. This is look number six. This is look number seven. So one through seven, which was your favorite and why? And easy peasy, simple. And I'll write below when it will end. When it ends, I will look at the eligible comments put the names of the, the comment writer, <laughs> I know I'm saying stuff backwards and I'm sorry, into a random generator and whatever name it generates, that will be the winner. And I will put the name of the winner in a pinned comment. And so make sure you look at when this giveaway ends, it'll be down below so that you can mark your calendar or make a note somewhere to come back and look at in the pinned comment, which will be who the winner is. And I'll also write below how many days you have back to get to me. And if you don't, I'll just go back to Random Generator, pick another person. And so that's how we're going to do this. And so thank you for being here. Thank you for being awesome supporters of my channel and of the goofiness and the trollness and the craziness and the self-acceptance and self-love. And yeah, so that'll be it. And so thank you for being here. I know I just said that, but I really do appreciate you for watching and commenting and liking and subscribing. I really do. And so one of you will have this gorgeous palette and you've seen seven looks and you can also do other looks with it as well. But I just wanted to show you what you can do with it and how easy it is to work with it. You can do really springtimey for those who do those looks. You can just add color if you want to. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching and you will see me in the next one.